Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 4.4, Problem 2. This is Section 4.4, Problem 2. It says write each percent as a fraction or mixed number reduced to its lowest terms, and we have five of them to do. The first one is 6%. So with any of these to make a percent go to a fraction, what you do is you write the percent over 100. So I have 6 over 100. Now, can I reduce that? Well, they're both even, so I can at least cut it in half for the top and the bottom. So half of 6 is 3, half of 100 is 50. Can I reduce any further? No, that's as far as it'll go. So 3 over 50 is the same as 6%. The next one is 60%. So same process. To convert that to a fraction, write the percent over 100. And then reduce if you can. Well, I have a zero on the end, so I can at least cancel the zero. So I have six over 10. Again, those are even, so I can at least take half of each. So half of six is three, half of 10 is five, three-fifths. Can I reduce any further? No, that's as far as it goes. So 60% as a fraction would be three-fifths. The next one is 600%. So to convert a percent to a fraction, write the percent over 100. So I'd have 600 over 100. And again, you've got the zeros that will cancel, so I have 6 over 1, which you could more simply write as just 6. And the next one is 6,000%. So, like the others, write the percent over 100 to do the conversion. So I'll have 6,000 over 100. And I can start the reduction. Two zeros on the top will cancel two zeros on the bottom, which leaves me with 60 over 1. And again, the over 1 doesn't really need to be written. We can just say that's 60. So as a fraction, 6,000% is written as just 60. And now the last one, 0.6% or 0.6%. So same process. Write the percent over 100. So I have 0 0.6. So if you want, you could make it 0 0.6, same thing over 100, reduce if you can. Now, they're both even, but you have a little bit of a problem with this one. You have a decimal as part of a fraction. You don't really want to do that. So how do we handle that? We can move the decimal as many places as we want, as long as you do it in the numerator and the denominator. So to make this just a 6 instead of a 0.6, I want to pull the decimal to the right one position. That means I need to pull it to the right one position in the denominator also. Now there's no decimal written in the denominator, but you can assume that it's at the end of the 100. So if I pull it over one more spot, I'm going to create a blank area that I have to fill in with a zero. So to write this as just a fraction with no decimal, it will be just 6, not 0.6, over 1,000, not 100. Again, I'm moving the decimal point one place here so it becomes a 6. When I do that, I have to move it one place with the 100, it becomes a 1,000. Now, can I reduce 6 over 1,000? Well, again, they're both even, so I can at least take half of the numerator. Half of 6 is 3. Half of the denominator, half of 1,000 is 500. Can I reduce 3 over 500? No. So the fraction equivalent of 0.6% is 3 over 500.